Now, there are some other disclosures you need to be aware about, specifically for you in general. And I'm going to read this to you from the screen behind me so that you understand what I'm saying and I can sum it up precisely. Realtors shall not acquire an interest in or buy or sell or present offers from themselves or any members of their immediate family, their firms, or any member thereof their firm, or any entities in which you have ownership interests in any real property without making your true position known as the owner or the owner's agent or the broker. Okay? So what I'm saying here, let's go back and dissect this because there have been a lot of people that have tried to play this game before. You have to disclose that you are trained in the ninja arts of real estate. You are probably more knowledgeable than 95% of the people out there when it comes to the conveyance of real property. You have to disclose that you are because the general public could see that as a definite disadvantage to them during the negotiation process. All right, not a big deal, people. Do not get your knickers in a twist on this. This is really not that hard to understand. And a lot of people tend to make more of it than I really think, okay? So let's go through this. <clears throat> you shall not acquire or sell an interest in the property. Here's the key. Understand what that literally just said. An interest in the property. It didn't say actual ownership. All right. If you have an interest in the property and you have to disclose this, if you are going to present offers from your yourself or any of your immediate family. And if you look on the screen, NAR actually has a definition for immediate family, spouses, children, parents, including in-laws, siblings, grandparents, grandchildren, aunts, uncles, and first cousins. All right. This definition came out of a lawsuit several years ago where a buyer agent in Connecticut was working with a buyer. And I don't know the, the entire particulars of what happened because it was not disclosed in the discussion. But somehow the deal went south. The deal went south. And the seller declared that the buyer's agent did not disclose that his client was his father-in-law. And his defense was, well, I'm not buying it, so I didn't disclose that. The... Connecticut Board of Realtors determined that if the father-in-law would have bought the property and if the father-in-law would have passed away or when he passed away, that this agent could have gained a benefit through a, a will to his wife, i.e. that guy's daughter. He, in fact, did have an interest in the property and should have disclosed it. So he failed to disclose that his father-in-law, which as you can see up there on the list, it says, including in-laws, you must disclose. So if you have an interest in an offer that you write, any immediate family or any firms that you work for or own, and own by definition is greater than 10%, you have to disclose. So there were some games a long time ago when some agents were going, well, I'm not buying it, my company's buying it. Yeah, dude, but you own the company, you still have to disclose that. So the courts have ruled an interest means any ownership in a legal business where the entity is more than 10% owned by you. So if you have an investment company, you know, 
We Build Them LLC and you write an offer for We Build Them LLC as their agent, you need to disclose that you have an ownership interest in that company so that the seller knows that you are trained in the martial arts of real estate and can act accordingly, maybe get a different attorney, maybe get a better attorney, maybe get a better agent, I don't know. But I'm just saying you better disclose. Now, I will tell you, in my opinion, this is totally my opinion, and I am the world's foremost authority on my opinion, and I believe everybody is entitled to it. <laughs> All right, so here it goes. This requirement to me is the least damaging disclosure that you could ever give. I don't see a downside in disclosing. If in doubt, disclose it. All right. I listed my cousin's property, which by rule, as you can see, the NAR up there on the screen defines first cousins as an interest. I just disclosed it. Do you know I did not have one person ever ask? Not one. But I put it in the agent to agent notes that said, you know, that the listing agent is related to the seller of the property. I don't know, and maybe one of you guys can help me, where the downside is in this by disclosing. So what I'm telling you is, dude, if you're in doubt, should I or shouldn't I? Eh, go ahead and do it. What's the worst? I cannot figure a worst case. I cannot imagine a buyer going, oh, dude, I love that house. It's perfect for our kids. It's in the right school system. But the agent's related to the seller, so I'm not going to put an offer in on it. <laughs> right? Get it? See, he's laughing. One of you got it. I can't imagine that ever happening. So I don't see the downside in this. I do not see the downside to this. <clears throat> you must disclose the nature of the agency to uh, prior to entering into that agency agreement. This is that written office policy that we talked about. You have to explain what the positive power coefficient is to your client before you enter into the agency. So technically, before they sign a listing, they better sign your written office policy, which explains here's what agency is. So those are two other disclosures. It's the disclosure of agency to your client and it's the disclosure of you having an interest in the property. Whether you're buying or selling, you better disclose, okay? I had a deal several years ago where I bought my personal residence that I'm living in currently. It's in a county called Brown County in Indiana, very wooded county, very remote. Found this great house out in the woods called the listing agent, who I knew, by the way, and said, hey, dude, I think we're going to put an offer in, but I'm telling you in advance that the client I'm dealing with is very hard to deal with. They want everything. They don't want to do anything. They're very demanding and pushy. And the other agent looked at me and goes, Raymond, I've known you for years. Why would you deal with that client? And I said, because I sleep beside her. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Alan laughed and goes, <laughs> dude, I've had that same client. I'm like, you slept with my wife? No. So, yes, just disclose. When in doubt, disclose. I don't see a downside. And if anybody has a thought on how that could be detrimental and harm you, let me know. I'd be curious because I really honestly cannot think of a downside in over disclosing this area. All right. And if you out there listening and you hit know of a, a scenario where it could potentially be harmful, send me an email. You guys in here, send me an email, Raymond at realuniversity.com. Tell me where you think it could potentially be a downside because I, as of yet, have not found a place where that could literally happen. <laughs>